So how you doing there, YouTube? So a good friend of mine, Rocky, a fellow convention goer and a wrestling junkie just like me, asked me to do a wrestling video, uh, like, a, like a WrestleMania ranking or review. I'm going to do my best uh, because I could be here all day talking about old school wrestling and can't really do that. I mean, because nobody watched me talk about wrestling for fucking three, four hours. On this, you know. But with that being said, all this wrestling right here, um, major, major part of my childhood. You know, when I I look forward to going to the video stores and going to the horror section or the sports section, or whatever, and I had my wrestling tapes. So I either get a horror or wrestling tape, maybe a cartoon. I don't know. But it was mostly all wrestling. Now, I don't give a fuck who the hell you are back then. Uh, nobody could really afford them unless you had like fucking three, four jobs and you made good money back in the day to buy these fucking tapes. But we pirated them back back then. We had two VCRs, two VCRs. Um, you rent them and you tape them and then you return them. So I had a lot of these tapes on tape, fit three or four at a time. So where you tape them. Uh, but yeah, Wrestle, I'll give you for instance, WrestleMania four or WrestleMania three was like forty bucks. Yeah, so WrestleMania three, forty bucks back then. Okay, so this is all the original. Okay, this is the original clamshell that it came in back in the day, but. See, like that, I'm, I'm fucking getting distracted. I'm like a fucking I'm a cat. It's something shiny. So, WrestleMania 1, 85, uh, Madison Square Garden. Uh, main event was Hulk Hogan with Mr. T versus uh, Paul Wondorf and Roddy Piper. Uh, just history right there, folks. Just fucking absolute history. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. T really hated fucking Piper. That whole thing with them was legit was on it was, was was downright fucking true right there they hate each other <laughs> uh another good match on this card was um shit fucking andre giant and big john stud was uh a body slam challenge fifteen thousand dollar body slam challenge if andre giant slammed big john stud he got fifteen thousand dollars and the fucking bet kept going on every, every match they had Every time Andre Giant slammed him, he would get fucking $15,000 because he had no problem slamming him. Uh, now, I know a lot of fans out there of, uh, like, say, The Fiend, Bray White, his father wrestled. You know, watch his father is on, the, is on the, in this um, event. It's him and Barry Windham. Uh, his name is Mike Rotundo. Mike Rotundo came back in the 90s as IRS and he would, Mr. Ted DiBiase, they formed Money Incorporated. But yeah, a lot of history. WrestleMania 2. Oh shit, main event was Hulk Hogan versus King Kong Bundy in a steel cage match. <sighs> like I said, folks, I, I just, I can't show, I, I'm showing too much partiality because this was part of my fucking childhood and I'm just thinking about it, I'm just getting bombarded by memories, but all this shit. I mean, I remember watching this when it came out, you know, I just, so. Uh, on this thing was also the Battle Royal. Now, the last three guys in the Battle Royal was these three, two guys right here, the Hart Foundation, and you guessed it, Andre the Giant. Now, Andre the Giant was Mr. Battle Royal, man. Like, he never lost the Battle Royal, and it was only these three guys left. But naturally, the Hart Foundation got chucked out. Great fucking match. Uh, they had the re refrigerator in there. Uh, and a couple other fo uh, football players, and yeah, it was, <laughs> it was all over the fucking place. Um... I'm going to jump right to WrestleMania 3, okay? The fucking historic in the Pontiac Silverdome, okay? 93,000 plus in the Pontiac Silverdome. The main event, okay, was Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan. Now, where the... F I forgot what tape it was that I saw it on because I guess I haven't seen these in a long time. Um, actually, no, it was actually on Wrestling Challenge. It was on Wrestling Challenge. The fucking contract signing was just historic. Okay, this is why I love old school wrestling. Today, I, I know there's a lot of wrestling fans out there that actually like it and enjoy it. Me, I just I can't get into it. I just fucking just can't get into it. Like you had wrestlers back then that I, you actually I actually feel like a wrestling fan again watching these old wrestlers. Um, listening to Gorilla Monsoon and fucking Bobby the Brain on commentary. Just the absolute best, okay? Best commentary, commentary 
commentators, commentators, eh, couldn't get it out. Grill Monsoon, Jesse Ventura, definitely Jesse Ventura, uh, Bobby the Brain. Uh, if you listen to those guys on commentary, holy shit, you left your fucking balls off, okay? Um, Gorilla Monsoon, uh, his, his, if you know, his, um, his son was a referee. Joey Morella was one of the referees. Um, what you call it? He's no longer with us either, Joey Morella. Uh, but yeah, like, um, Gorilla Monsoon was known for giving, like, wrestlers nicknames. Uh, he came up with Bret Hart's, uh, Hitman. He called him the Hitman, all the excellence of execution. That was all him. Uh, he called, um, uh, Bob Orton, who's uh, Randy Orton's father, he called him the mechanic because there was a match. Now, before WrestleMania, the, the, was it 12? 12. The Iron Man match. It was WrestleMania 12. Hello. They did they, the first ever Iron Man match, a marathon match, which is, which is an hour. But that's not really true. Believe it or not, they had Iron Man matches way before that, okay, there was a match, I think it was on best, you don't see the whole hour match, but they tell you it was like an hour and 15 minutes, um, it was Tito Santana versus Bob Orton, it was, they went like an hour and 10, or an hour and 15 minutes, and that was the longest, or, I think it was another one, it was like an hour and a half, between Bruno San Martino, and, I'm not gonna say Larry Zabisco, I think it was, uh, somebody, I can't think of his fucking name now, Killer Kowalski? Maybe it's Killer Kowalski. They had like an hour and 15 fucking minute match or an hour and a half match. Like they had long matches way before the fucking Iron Man match at WrestleMania 12. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> like I said, I could talk about wrestling the whole fucking day. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, you watch that, the contract signing. Like I would watch, I was getting fucking goose pimples. And this is like 80, what? 80, 86 or 87. The contract signing. I'm like, and we're in 2021. I'm still getting fucking goose pimples. I'm like, Man, I had a great fucking childhood. Uh, now, WrestleMania 4 was the rematch between Andre Giant and Hulk Hogan. Now, this is why I love VHS tapes. I'm going to show you something, okay? I remember it and I don't remember it, but I'm like, holy shit. My guy was like, fuck. Okay, so WrestleMania 4, okay? The return match. This is when they had two referees. When they, <laughs> It was Earl, Heb Earl Hebner and Dave Hebner. And he was trying to say he bought uh, Teddy Biasi, he bought another fucking man, uh, referee. So this is why I love the old wrestling. Why I love tapes. Okay, ready for this? See, WrestleMania 4. And you open it up. Look at that. <laughs> Fucking awesome, huh? Yeah, I got lucky. I got... This was like 30 bucks. Okay, like I said. There's a lot more. I'm going to do one for me. Fuck that. I'm going to do one for me. The Mega Powers. Macho Man and Hogan. Now... A lot, a lot of fucking animosity between those two, Randy Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Too much, to, too much for me to tell you, but this type in Macho Man, and you'll see on YouTube, you'll see a whole bunch of fucking interviews that they had with Macho Man, how he hated Hulk Hogan. And it's actually on, um, shit, uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, the fuck, what the hell's it called? The, uh, Beyond the Mat, not Beyond the Mat, uh, uh, Shit, it's a it's like three do, three different documentaries about wrestling, and he's one of them. How he he blamed Hogan for fucking Elizabeth cheating on him. It was a whole bunch of bullshit, folks. Just watch it; you will not be disappointed. But yeah, this is another good one. WrestleMania Five when Hogan bought Macho Man. Like I said, this is all I could be here all fucking day from a wrestling because I you know I just love my wrestlings. But like I said, if you're a wrestling fan of today, and you and you want to get some knowledge about the old school stuff? Yes, the network is good, but they edit the shit out. Like, everything is, like, cut to shit. Uh, they can't show you half of the footage they showed you back then. Get yourself a VCR, 10 to 15 bucks, and, uh, you know, take it from there. Just, and go on eBay and just see what you can find because WrestleMania won... You get lucky and, you know, maybe $20, $25, you know, very, it's cheap, but not kind of cheap, but you'll probably get lucky, but yeah, <laughs> I love wrestling. This is the, this is like all this, you know, is a major, major part of my fucking childhood. 
I've been going crazy for all these alone. The, the best of WWF Volume 1 through 20. Um, like, I was only stopping at WrestleMania 13. Because that's in 14 and up. Attitude Era. Then the uh, Ruthless Aggression Era. And all those shit era. This is the Golden Era. This is the best era. Like I said. Get yourself a VCR, folks. Look on eBay. Hopefully get a couple of people that are reasonably priced. 40 bucks tops for wrestling tape is not bad, okay? When you got people on eBay selling for fucking... Like I saw one of the uh, Coliseum videos. Uh, uh, the Women of Wrestling. It had uh, Sensational Sherry on the cover. It's $200 and it's fucking open. I'm like, I like wrestling. But I'm not going to spend $200 for a fucking tape. I'm sorry. You know, how much I love fucking wrestling tapes, I'm not going to spend $200 on a fucking wrestling tape. So, uh, but yeah. Like, look, they have the Heart Foundation. Okay? These, this is the best, okay? You can't be... Another one. Sorry. Look, the British Bulldogs, okay? All history, folks. All history. Fucking Jake the Snake, Okay? Sorry, I'm fucking, I'm distracting you. I just can't help it. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by all these fucking wrestling tapes. I'm overwhelmed. Macho Man had like two tapes, I think. See? Macho Man. Then, the best. The best. Right here. Bruno San Martino. Somebody on this, on eBay, was selling it for, uh, now I think, for like 90 bucks. Now I got mine for 25. Thank you. Another one. Here we go. Hyper. 25 bucks I paid for it. Now it's like 80. So, yeah. Hopefully you get lucky and you get somebody selling for fairly cheap. Uh, but yeah. This is where wrestling was wrestling and it's fun to watch. Now it's fucking shit. Sorry. But I'm not sorry. So yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Hopefully, you know, Rocky liked this video. But, you know. Hopefully you like it, brother. I don't know. Hopefully you did, I did a good job.